at the annex here. This is where the, the, the mastering labs are and the mixing labs. Let me explain what happens here. You put your stuff, you send it to the cloud, the Chungking cloud, up on the net. You put your stuff on the net. Full Pro Tools mix. Uh, a logic mix, doesn't matter. You send the information up to the cloud, we download it, we master your mix first. We get your mix sounding, like the tracks on your mix sounding good. We mix the mix, and then we master it, and then we send it back to you or send you the records. I mean, like We have deals with all the record production companies. So we can send you CDs and everything else, and then you go on the Chungking website and the MPC-1. Music PC-1. MPC-1. One, one, one. This is the studio entrance. Uh, we do mixing and mastering in here. And um, it's really the best environment because electromagnetically, we don't have a lot of RF out here. So it allows us to do absolutely dead quiet mixing and mastering. You cannot do it in the city, I know. I've had the biggest studio in the city. I know what the city's all about. I could screen it with like, you know, lead shielding and I'm still gonna get noise, you know? Electrical noise, everything. I mean, we had our own generators. I couldn't do it. Out here, it's nothing. Just put a stake in the ground and go. Showbiz is the only thing that's going to last through this recession. I'm going to redo showbiz too. Showbiz, I don't want to hear you break. I don't want to hear you crying. All right, so if you want to know why you're sending it here and why we're doing it here, we have the best engineers. We do it on our own time. We do it when we feel like doing it, not when we're forced to do it. So therefore, it's inspired. It's not not inspired. You know, you can spend $10,000 mixing in a studio like my own, or you can spend $1,000 and get a better mix with a couple different additions to it, an acapello and, and a regular version and a radio version and a cut and you can get a lot of stuff done for much less money and I can mix your stuff from anywhere in the world. Anywhere. This is a folk tune from uh, Northern Europe that I'm doing that was sent to the cloud. I downloaded it and what I'm doing is I'm, I'm mastering the record after I mix the record because they sent me their mixes. I know how they want it to sound. I've already got the mix. Now what I do is I sweeten it. I take all that digital crap out of it and it's sweet. Nice equalizers, LA-2s, Massenburgs, Avalons, you know, just all the stuff that, that actually makes things like, you know, the Massive Passive, which is our favorite, which is our favorite final EQ. Anywhere, doesn't matter. Denmark, Japan, China, Russia, doesn't matter. Send it to the people who actually know how to do this stuff. I think we have a pretty good track record since we've sold a couple billion records. All right, so uh, I'm not trying to boast. I'm trying to convince people that there is a better way of doing it for less money. Welcome to the castle. I think Apple's getting involved with us as far as all of our chatting, so we can uh, send you, we can talk to you about your mixes and stuff from around the world. And uh, I think we'll have a lot of fun. So Toby and I are signing out because we have to go to work. He's got to wait outside the door for me for like eight hours, and I've got to work. We rock the house with it, and what it does is it comes out sounding real. It comes out sounding like a record, not like a, not a bounce on Pro Tools. Pro Tools bounces are fine when you're working and you want to see if your song works in the car. That's good. For your release, no. We master it, and we master it with analog equipment. Our final mastering in digital is done with the highest quality digital stuff at 192 or 96, depending on the, the, uh, the resolution of the actual mix itself. If you record it in 44.1, 96, 6K will generally do it, but the main thing is digital cannot mix properly. It can't do it. Any digital mixing console sounds like poopy. 96K is better, 192 is better. The single bit digital audio, which is the 5.6 megahertz, now you're getting there. Now you're getting to the speed. It's like you take a sine wave, you're spreading it between here and Los Angeles, and you're sampling it, you know? Then it can see it. It's, it's how you spread it apart. The digital is a different domain. It is not analog, it is digital. It's like spam versus steak. Which would you like? We make steak or tofu, whichever you want to think about it. Come on, Tofu, let's go. Don't set the alarm off. Welcome to the annex. Oh shit. <laughs> Bye. -bye. <laughs>